and broadcast. Okay, it is live. Let me see. Now I have to go. Um, oh, look at there. I've got Deborah Mayo, Arlene, Janet, and we have Pat Toodle, and we have Don Brigman, and we have Aaron, and we have Lala Gamalori Way. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. And we have um Kathy Lake and and it's me and Aria just a minute I gotta go and I have to make sure I get my you know I could probably do this ahead of time and send the men, the link over Did to you know you can take pictures of it and send it to your friends yeah I could send I, that's right I did I took pictures of the last one you made and I send it to my friends wait a minute what am I doing Oh, that's right. I'm going here, and then I have to go down here, and I gotta oh, find it's Daddy and my mama. Yeah, that's your daddy and your mama. Just a minute, okay, you guys. We're we're getting ready here. We gotta get all the technical stuff done here. Um, Gail, how do you spell Gail? G A I L. Okay, there. Now, here she is, right here, and then we go like this, and we go Control V. And then we go enter, and then she has the link. And then we go back over here to StreamYard. Oh, all right. Hi, y'all. Hi. Okay, so today I have a co-host. I have a co-host. I have Miss Arya, and she's over here working. She has got some things in front of her because she's got, um, Arya is five years old. And um, she is soon going to be a big sister. Well, she's going to be a big sister probably in July, right? March? That, nah, really? March, July, hey, they're all the same. It's a month. But anyway, um, yeah, she's going to be a big sister. And so she's looking forward to that. She's going to be able to teach her little sibling whatever the little sibling it might be a little boy or girl we don't know yet yeah we don't know it might be a little it's not we're pretty sure it's not going to be a puppy but yeah. um yeah it so is. it is, it is going to be a puppy i hope so <laughs> <laughs> yeah a puppy would be fun hmm. yeah so anyhow hi eugenia and read it retta retta smith or maybe it's rita and there's um Hmm. Eugenia. And um, do you know, well, what my son just said now, and he's not always right, but if they have a girl, do you know her name is probably going to be Freya? I love that name. That's what I named my son Machit. And so, yeah, and if it's a boy, then it's going to be Odin. Odin Kai, right? Yeah, right here. Yep, that's Freya right there. That's my sewing machine. Yeah. So now um, let me see what's going on here. There's Janice Jackson. Hi, Jennifer. Do you see who's with me, Jen? Look at there. That's our Aria. Oh, there's Gail. Add to stream. Okay, there's Gail. Hi, Aria. Hi. <laughs> and there's there's Lottie Faith. And where are the bookends? Yes. Oh, how good to see everybody. Okay. Yep. Oh, look at there. She's working on something. She's making something pretty. She put some things here in front of her. So, and she's got a needle. You'll be really careful with that needle. End is sharp, you know. And she's beating some things onto her thread. Okay. I'm going to show you. We can. We want to kind of get going to what we're going to do today i'm i'm working on my apron some more jennifer these are those britches you brought to me the other day these are the britches they're not britches anymore yeah. they're not britches but oh gosh oh goodness sakes i didn't know i had all this stuff piled up on here i had me threaded me two needles so i'd be all ready but let me show you now. This was a pair of, of blue jeans. They were too big for Jennifer. No, they were too little. No, they were too big, but too little for me. And so Jennifer brought these to me. Gee.
Jennifer Haney up there. And um, so I cut them apart. First, I was just going to um, first. Yes, Freya is a beautiful name. Oh, and the French toast dude. You know who the French toast dude is, Aria? Daddy? It's Jeffrey. <laughs> That's your cousin. <laughs> Hi, Jeffrey. I thought that was a new name. Yeah, that's Jeffrey. He's the French toast dude. And um, I thought he was a French fry. Oh, <laughs> he's not a French fry. And so here I put in on this part here in the yolk part of the of the blue jeans. I put the um, just put a whole bunch of the. I really like the um. I like the um. What do we call it? Seeds. Seeds. You yes, and so then I put some here too, and I put some cross crosses there, and then I just took some stitching and I went around here. This these two pieces right here were sent to me. Yes, that is beautiful. These were sent to me. It was a long snippet roll that was sent to me by Sybil Gebhardt, who is in Germany, but I have not heard from her for quite some time and i know she was elderly she was a little bit mm -hmm. older and so hopefully she's okay but i haven't seen her name anywhere but i used parts of that snippet roll here and aaron mortson aaron do you see this here piece and you have a giant lock <laughs> you'll just wear them with the too bad now jennifer you can't get them back but aaron sent a package to papa with a book and some magazines for his birthday. Well, she also had this doily put in here. And um, and so I took the doily and I've got it already. Um, I've already got it stitched on here and some yo-yos on there. And there, if you saw my video through the week, this was a, off of a, another pair of denim uh, blue jeans, uh, denim blue jeans, that I just cut a piece off and I, Borrow stitch the whole thing and um and yes he really loved the book he goes i can't believe she sent me a book a stephen king book that i have not read and oh. so he was excited to have that aaron he had not read it and so yep here i put these yo-yos on there and then what i really like is taking the stitching around and kind of, it's almost like you're echoing. Um, when we were doing a lot of the the um, Zentangles, we did echoing around wow. with pen, you know. And this is almost the same thing. And, and oh, that's what I did. Yes, Gail, I saw your image. I I saw where you posted your picture, where you uh -huh. had you writ you written something, you wrote something, you. And then you yeah, have create creativity takes courage. Yes, it's and so, a famous artist. And I love that. Yes, oh. he loved the magazines too, Aaron. Yes. And so, and I like that. And here, this this was sent to me too. This here flower made out of denim, and so I put that on, and then I cool. echoed around this. And and then I'm here finished. again, are you finished? That is beautiful. Are you gonna bring it home to your mom? She's gonna love it. Mom's at work, right? Yeah, her mommy's a nurse too, so she's at work right now. So I'm gonna snip and, um, and tie. Yeah, okay, I'll help you tie that in just a second. Ooh, wait a minute. Okay, let me help her with this. Let me get this here snipped. Yeah, your scissors broke. We gotta get you some more. So I'm going to just go ahead that and... That was from Mommy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mommy tried to put something that wasn't cuttable. But yes, um, I want to... It's, it's, there is so much you can do with denim, and it is so fun to use, especially this thread that is so colorful on denim. I just love the way it shows up. Here you go, sweetie. Thank you. Hopefully, yeah, you got to be careful that it doesn't pull off of there, but then that gives you a place to hang it. And then I put the fringe at the bottom. But what I want to do is what I'm thinking. I'm see, this was going, this is going to be an apron. And um, but I 
changed my mind a little bit is how it's going to be because within you know i was thinking about putting just a band here to go around the net but what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually add more i'm going to take apart another pair of blue jeans and and get it wider out this way on both sides i'm going to add the length again the same on both sides but what i'm going to do is make it across what they call it is a cross body apron or a crossover apron. Oh, yeah. It crosses in the back. Yes. And yeah. So this will go around to the back. Just a minute, Aria. Oh, thank you, sweetie. And um, so then the strap will go to this back part. So then, and I love those crossover aprons or whatever they call them. They're so awesome how they're made. And so yeah you can you can use that if you want to I need scissors. Can I go oh, well you can use these but be very very careful if you cut a finger off your father's never going to even let you come in my room anymore okay so anyway now i need to get going here what i want to do now on here is i want to couch my name oh you know what i wanted to do too i um i saw somebody here let me reach across here Somebody had posted somewhere that they were taking blue jeans apart and they were, um, when I take my blue jeans apart, I separate all my pieces. I got one bag that is all nothing but zippers, one that's just pockets. This one is seams. Another scene somewhere, but in this, whoever posted that, I'd have to go back and look. Hi, Lise. I'm glad you come by and 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 um, little red wagon and Brenda. Okay, but anyway, now here I am that I can't think and do stuff at the same time. But one of the things you can do with these because the girl was asking the whoever put the post up was ask, asking if anybody needed the um the seams because she had a bunch of seams i saw where somebody made coasters out of these which they just took the seams huh. and rolled them and rolled them and rolled them those are awful thick coasters then oh yeah but you know what you know there is oh arlene are you the one that posted that and and i thought this is what it would be thick coasters but you know there are some coasters that do not do the job well true or and, or i you could keep going and make a, a hot pad you could you could just keep it going and yes it would be not enough <laughs> yeah and well my bag is getting kind of full of stuff and mm. but you can just keep putting it together and glue it as you go and um some seams are going to be wider than others but mm -hmm. um yes a rug erin <laughs> hi erin <laughs> hi sharon and yes and so but that's one idea of what you can do and then i haven't figured out yet stuff to do with the zippers but i am gonna i am gonna find stuff to do with them zippers too so i have got a Oh, that looks nice. Isn't it beautiful? I Is ordered, that hand dyed? This, I what? ordered it off of Amazon, but it came from, um, it came from um, Etsy. So some people use, oh, Etsy, okay. use Amazon to sell their product. Even You know, I was going to say, I saw something very similar to that on Etsy just today. Uh-huh. It is so pretty. And for couching, I think that this is going to be just the cat's meow. Now, is I, it um, pearl cotton or is it a yarn or? Sorry, silk. Oh. And that's what this is. It's sorry. Silk. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> I think I may have post. I try to put most everything that I get. I try to post it on. um on my on my link mm, i just ordered some stuff through your amazon link this afternoon oh thank you that gives mm, you yeah i i got some more uh thread to embroider with you got me hooked now i hope so <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know um 
I'm I'm just it you know if everybody knew how how calming because when I first saw this I thought mm, no I can't do that because I connected it with embroidery and I thought no it's I can't do it you know I'm just not an embroiderer but it is so much well, more I, I disagree you act like you're an embroiderer but because I don't I, care if they call it slow stitching, you're still doing something like embroidery. Yeah, I need to have these scissors, sweetheart. Thank you. And there is a lot of embroidery slit stitches that you can use. Right. I'm going to ooh, all that color doesn't. No, the computer camera doesn't like all that color. Um. There is so many embroidery stitches that you can use. But you don't have to get them exactly right. You know, you don't, have to, you don't have to have them even. You don't have to have them perfect. You just use them to the best of your ability. So, yeah, I didn't even find the end of that. I'll just cut me a piece. But um, did, you, did you see the comment up a ways uh, in chat from that Arlene did, said? She said, in a couple hundred years, there are going to be some seriously confused archaeologists when they unearth all of our hand-sewn stuff that seems so out of place in an age of technology. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that is so true. That yeah. is so true. Pam's Country Sewing. Hi. I think you're new. I don't believe I've seen your name before. So welcome to our group. And you are awesome. You are awesome. Yes, it's like embroidery with no rules. Free form, yes. Right, um, free form. But, but there's so much. Like, there's so much in a pair of blue jeans. Like here, I was looking at this pair. Look at this. It's uh, from the Arizona Jean Company. I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to cut that right off of there before I change my mind. Oh, I'm going to cut that. See, that's a perfectly good pair of blue jeans. But my daughter was going to donate these to the charity shop. And I said, oh, I'll take them. Because if you're going to donate them anyway, what the heck? I can donate them to your mother. Yeah, she donated them to you. <laughs> but look at that. See, I got the tag on there. And it says Arizona Jean Company. I'm going to sew that somewhere on here. But then there was another. Yeah, that's, a, that's a neat uh, embroidered, you know, name thing, whatever you call it. <laughs> yeah, it's like the, it's like the, the, whatever. Yeah, whatever you call it. Brand, their brand. Yeah. Their label. It's going to go on here somewhere. Cool. And this is just a little, one of the watch pockets. And um, <laughs> Paula says, I love what you've done with her britches. <laughs> Absolutely. And there's Cynthia. Hello, Cynthia. And see, this is one of the little watch pockets. And I thought, boy, that will be fun. And I could even, I have some little bitty dolls that I've made. And I thought, how cute that would be to stick a little doll peeking out of there. And this was on another pair of jeans. Oh, wow. This, there was these three like embroidered pieces that was on a pair of jeans. The jeans were gorgeous, very well worn. And so I love these. I'm not sure exactly where they're going to go. They're going to go on here somewhere. Well, I'm glad you salvaged it. That's that's nice. Even it is store bought, you know, manufactured stitching, but still. Right, exactly. But you do that now. See, because when I was at the thrift shop the other day, I also found a pillowcase and the edge of it had embroidery on it. And so, and that was 25 cents for that wow. pillowcase. So, of course, I snatched that right up. And that's going to go on something. It might not go on this piece, but I am, um, it's going to go somewhere. It's going to go somewhere in my um, art projects. I'm start I, I was just I've got embroidered pillowcases that I did. I mean, I'm thinking about the day that mine might end up in a thrift shop and somebody will buy it to cut them up. <laughs> Yeah, but cut them up yourself and put them on. No, sleep. I love those pillowcases. My husband doesn't like sleeping on them, but no, I put a lot of effort into those. I use them. <laughs> oh, so I thought you meant you were going to donate them to a thrift. No, no, no. I'm just thinking when I'm dead and gone and they end up. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kathy Weir. So glad to see you here. Marge, Paula Huggins. 
good to see everybody. Absolutely. And so now I'm just using regular thread and I made my S. Oh, I'm Scrappin' Lizzie. That's what I, my name is Scrappin' Lizzie. And, <laughs> and um, Arlene, you can get Piper to get me one. Okay. But anyway, um, so, and then I, I used the chalk to just go and make the S. And now I'm just laying this oh this beautiful you can use anything yarn or whatever but i do have this this um twisted sorry silk um, oh i bet that was a, a pretty pri price you paid for that um i know I don't think it could have been too much because i'm kind of cheap yeah well man <laughs> But I wish I would have seen it <laughs> when I was, I was just on Etsy, but I put in pearl cotton. I was looking for pearl cotton. Yeah. Well, I'm, I may have, if I didn't, I can still go and put, um, list this on my Amazon affiliate mm -hmm. link, and then that will bring you, ouch, needles are sharp, you all. I don't know how you can do that laying flat. When I did all that work that you saw that I posted today, it yeah. was on my, I was hanging on to it on in my lap, you know, while I was watching TV. Actually, I can't lay it flat. I can do actually better laying flat. I guess. Yeah, well, whatever works for you. First started doing that way. Although I've been doing a lot while of it in my lap now. Because okay. Me and Hubster have decided that we are, I need to spend more time out there with him. I'm usually sure. in his room. And so now, actually, see, I had a very nice chair already, a nice recliner chair that I got for my daughter. And then, um, and then, but Papa didn't have one. But now my daughter found another one to just today, another recliner chair on Marketplace. And oh. So, she went and picked that one up. Boy, Marketplace is amazing to find things. Oh, the Facebook? Yeah, Facebook. That's Market how I've sold stuff. I haven't bought anything off there, but I, I've sold some big ticket items, uh, like all my rug hooking stuff. Uh, oh, that's, yeah. yeah. And, and so what else? Oh, my, uh, the rock tumbler. Well, it wasn't real big ticket, but. Yeah, that's awesome. Do, good. Yeah, because if you got something that you're not using anymore, if right. you don't have somebody that you can give it to that would appreciate right. it, you might as well sell it, make a nickel. Yeah, yeah, I was surprised that somebody would pay because you know on the rug digging and stuff, I had to ship it, and so that costs money for them to you know get. So, oh, and and so I, mean, I mean, it was heavy and big. <laughs> yeah, I remember you were telling me you even had the um. What I had a floor stand, mm -hmm. yeah, and all the heavy, um, the things to cut all the strips of the wall. Yeah, those. those that is, I bought it used, and it was expensive, and I turned around and sold it for what I bought it for, which yeah, was like two, $250. Yeah, I looked into them one time, and I said, oh, no, I don't kiss so. Oh, it was so handy, though, to cut yeah. the strips. I don't do that. If I would have known you were going to do that, I could have um, made a deal, a good deal with you, but oh well. Yeah, no, I don't do it that much, though, and so yeah. I can cut my wool with um, with my rotary cutter. Okay, so Or now, you can buy it. You can buy it, too. Oh, yeah, you can. It, cut. Right, yes. And so, Howard, a lot of these people here don't know what we're talking about. A traditional rug hooking, not the where you use yarn and uh, the you know those like those kits you get this is old time talk about old crafts yeah it's the old primitive rug hooking yeah the piece i'm working on now it's not going to be a rug it's going to be a wall hanging but it's mm -hmm. kind of time consuming okay so i made my s see and i love it look how pretty the color and what i'm using here is i just so let me go ahead and see if i can write the rest of my name here because I want to go all the way across the bottom with my name. So, S hey, is that a, a, a purchase trim that you've got on the bottom of your uh, apron? 
it's a, like a cotton fringe. It okay. was, it, yeah, it is purchased. It was sent to me by a, I get so many things sent to me. I am so. You know what, Lizzie? When I first saw it, when you shared a picture or something earlier this week, I thought you somehow frayed the bottom of the jeans. <laughs> oh, no, but you can. That took some time. Yeah, you can. If one one side of the jeans is real hot, easy to fray. The other one. Hi, Deborah Mayo. It is so good to see you. And um, it's harder to fray. The it's easy to fray it this way with the oh. great this way. It's sure. To fray and your fray comes of a light color. Then the bottom when it goes the opposite way, it is, um, it's harder to fray. It's mm -hmm. because the, the stitch is tighter. So S C R, but see, and I'm just using my, um, you can actually, if you, you don't really even have to put, write your letters out with something ahead of time, but you can use a pencil, a crayon, a colored pencil, and anything because you're going to cover it over anyway with your thread so um oh i wanted to mention too i have had so many people i've had quite a few asking me if i'm going to be listing any more lakes and so not many know about my scrap and lizzie um facebook page not the scrap and lizzie unicorns but just Scrap and Lizzie. Well, I have kind of ignored that page. I've oh. like an abandoned child. Well, I decided I'm going to use that page, and that is where I'm going to list my um in uh my list my laces. So I have one one um collection. That are well, there's actually two different collections, but these are the collections I've listed on there for. First, you um, these are one inch lace, and then these are two inch lace, and each one of these has 50 or 60 yards of lace in them and just all different colors. But that's just um, it's just called Scrap and Lizzie. I'm but gonna post a link, just a Facebook page, and it's not the unicorn page. It's just a scrap and Lizzie. Now, where do you think? There's the link. Oh, thank you. And so, mm -hmm. um, yeah. And, and it I sure looks, it looks just like the other page. I could get confused there, but this says a community page, whatever that means. Hmm. I, I don't know. I, I, it should look different. I don't know. Where'd my needle go? Well, maybe I went to the group. I don't know. Okay, it's um hmm. Well, then that's different. Arlene posted the group. Yeah, this it's a different link. Okay, it's just called Scrap and Lizzie, and the yeah, first that's what I typed in. in it would be the lace that I just posted this morning or yesterday. The group is Scrap and Lizzie Unicorns, and yeah, yeah, I got the right link then. Okay, yeah, the, the where the lace is is just called Scrap and Lizzie, which I had made that a long, long time ago, but I hadn't really done much with it. I had kind of ignored it after I got the Scrap and Lizzie. I don't know why. It was completely a different something. I don't know what it was. I don't know. I'm not too bright. But anyhow, that's where the lace will be, so... And we're like Etsy, um, you know, you pay Etsy. Through the, through my link, though, it will be all payable through PayPal, which I already got an order through that way. So I thought I was excited. So um, yeah, that, that will, since I already have them all packaged up, too, I will mail that off in the morning. Heck, especially, I mean, with all the fees through Etsy, I'd do it that way, too. Yeah. That's why I went, did Marketplace for the other stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hi, Cheryl Talifus. Good to see you. 
Okay, so um, Arlene said she has them both open and they are different, but they look similar. Okay. Okay, because my personal page is just my name, whatever that is. Hi. I keep changing my name, so I don't know what it is. <laughs> Did your little helper take off? I think she just keeps going. But right now, she's playing with the dogs. Oh. Uh, oh, you're in here with who you with? Zoe? Oliver? You think it's Oliver? <laughs> Half the time, I can't tell which dog is which. Zoe is a little chubbier than Oliver, and Zoe's face is a little smaller than Oliver. But sometimes if they're not right together, I have to look underneath. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, they're still ready to go. <laughs> yeah, they're both. Right now, they're both in such need of a haircut. They look like a mop. But I'm not going to get them done yet. Actually, I'll probably have Jennifer come and do it. She does it. She did pretty good last time. What? Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's a lid to one of my boxes. No telling what you'll find, Aria, on the floor in here, sweetie. I have I think this one is Zoe. Yep, that one's yeah, I think that I think you're right. Okay, I think that's Zoe. So I hope everyone is doing well. Um I seen on the somewhere. I seen posted somewhere that um, there are so many people that have gotten their vaccinations now that they are lifting the um, rule on wearing masks everywhere. So I don't well, know <laughs> if that's true. You probably don't want to hear my thoughts on that. <laughs> I'm wearing my mask. I don't care. I'm Good. wearing my mask too. Well, you haven't been vaccinated either. So oh, I'm wearing my mask. So good, but it makes me think you know, a lot of people may not wear their mask now because and it's just, scary, even if they've yeah. you know, been vaccinated, have not. And how would what's we even know? what's even worse is I heard that some people, some restaurant workers were getting chewed out and um, you know, hassled because they wanted to wear their mask. Mm -hmm. I forget which state it was, I think it was Texas, but I'm not sure. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. That's so silly. Oh, well. I try to stay out of politics. Yeah. It shouldn't be a political matter at all, but it seems <laughs> yeah, to be. That's true. that's true, but it is. It is. It actually is. You okay in there, Aria? How do you spell Aria's name? A-R-A. -A. Did you hear that? A-R-A. No. Oh, oh, that's easy. I put a U in there. I thought maybe there was a U. A R Y A. Nice and simple. Yep. And Freya, if her sis if she has a sister, her name will be Freya and it'll be F R E Y J A, I think. Hi, Doji. My son is a server and he has customers mad because he wears a mask. Oh, see, that's what I meant. Hi, Do. I think you pronounce it Doje. Doje, yeah. Well, it's Donna. I don't know. You can pronounce it Donna. Oh, hi, Donna. <laughs> yeah. Donna, I hope you're doing okay. I know I have been neglecting you. And I feel terrible about that, but I've just been just kind of in a rabbit hole, I guess. Okay, so here I'm getting my R. Lizzie likes to say hi. <laughs> I got dry socket. I drink from a straw. <gasps> Oh, yeah, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> that hurts. Oh, I've had that before. Oh, I, I tried. When I had my last, or I've had two teeth pulled, and they told me, do not drink from a straw, and you don't want to get dry sockets. I was lucky. I was so scared because after one of them, well, this is, a, this is kind of 
gross, but I, I threw up. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to get dry socket. But I didn't, thankfully. Oh, I had one time with all the teeth that I've had pulled in. Oh, my word. It's worse than a toothache. Um, I guess we have a, a new viewer named Melissa that has been saying hi to you. And I've even missed it. So you might want to give her a shout out. Okay, Melissa. I know some Melissas. Melissa Miles? Nope, I don't know Melissa Miles, but it's no. good to have new people. Always good to have new people. And I have met some of the greatest, greatest people just coming Nina. through. Nina. Honey, I'm busy right now, sweetheart. What do you need, though? What? Well, get, there's a ghost in your house. A ghost in my house, yeah. I have a ghost. <laughs> there's a dog underneath a blanket. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Cheryl says, masks, you do not want COVID. I've got long That's haulers. So and it yeah, all, long haulers. Oh, that is... The, where is uh -oh. my... <laughs> she can't find her phone. It's ringing off the hook. Okay. Uh, it, she's, she hung up. Sorry about that. It was Cordula. I wonder, she must. Oh, is Card Cordula having trouble getting? Maybe she's having trouble getting. Yeah, uh, I haven't seen her in chat. No, she's been having some trouble getting on with her Wi-Fi or her internet or something. Oh, no. Yes. And Donna, I'm pretty much home and welcome you can come anytime you want to really so when you get done at the gym this girl is putting everybody to shame with her gym going to her gym and losing her weight and eating healthy and doing her walking and doing her exercise and oh and i just keep getting fatter <laughs> i'm proud of you though donna you are doing amazing she looks like a whole different person. So, but slow stitching, you guys, I'm telling you, just it is whatever. I mean, because see, I can sit here and just stitch and talk and stitch and talk. You don't even have to think. Look, I got the SCR for Scrap and Lizzie. And then, you know, I might go around even. After I put the whole name on there, I might go around with, um, yes, dear. I'm leaving. You're yeah. leaving? I love you, darling. I have a loose tooth today. Hmm? You got a loose tooth? Oh, wow. Uh -oh. You do. Wow. If How old are you, Aria? How old are you, Aria? Five. Oh, yeah. She's in that age where you're losing teeth a lot. Yep, five years old. Oh, it was from a bagel. From a bagel? <laughs> it was really good, so I had to, and then I got it. And then you got it loose from the bagel. But I bet the bagel was good. Yeah, it was. You know, now I want a bagel. Does anybody ever just, like, say a word, and then all of a sudden, oh, I want some of that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Rebecca Clark. You going? Yep. Okay, I love you, darling. I love you too. That was Billy. He's leaving. I had to get my goodbye hug. That's my baby boy who's going to be 30 on his next birthday, which he's been 30 on his last six birthdays. <laughs> yeah, he always says, I'm going to be 30 on my next birthday. Okay, go in there, Thread. And Brenda. Brenda Gaither, I am late coming. I'll replay later. I love the couch in your name. Thank you. I love the couching. I'm telling you, there is so much you can put on your art projects just with the couching. You can couch anything, anything at all onto your um onto your project. And I just I think the couching and the borrow stitch is probably what I use the most mm -hmm. in everything that I do. 
Oops, let's see. I put my R way down, and I'm going to have to put my P big up here. It's going to have to be a big P. That's okay, though. That's okay. I'm going to have a big P. No, it's going to run right into this. I have two big P's for my scrapping Lizzie. <laughs> this is, see, that way, you know, if. Uh-oh. I'm locked up. Uh-oh. Hang on. Oh, you're right, Sam. Still hear me good. Uh, I think we lost Lizzie, but she'll be back. She just has to figure it out. You're right. Lizzie forgot the A, did, or did she? Her hands, we stopped with her hand on it, so I can't tell. I know that she got the C and the R, but I think you're right. She forgot the A. Well, now what do we talk about? <laughs> Hang on, guys. She'll be back. Hopefully you can still hear me. I'm still on uh, StreamYard, so I guess you can. But I'm not letting you see me. You scare us. Hopefully. Not really, Gail. Okay, I'm well, back. Should be back. It's did you miss the A? Huh? Did you get the A on your scrapping? No. Well, oh. at least somebody else caught it. I didn't. Oh, somebody look, else caught it. I put SCP, SCRP. Oh, good grief. Thank you for everyone. <laughs> okay, let's see. We'll just erase this. And let's get an A in here. Okay, see, that second P will be fine right there. And see, it's it's kind of erasing with my finger. Yeah. Thank you for whoever had that good eye there. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember who said it. It was right yeah. when you got locked up. Kathy Lake. I, oh, Susan Ernst, I think, might have been the first one. Okay. Oh, no, Sam does. Samantha. Okay, Samantha, you did good. Okay, let's see. I'm right on a seam here. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my A. I'm going to make a funky A. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm so, it's a good thing you uh, had the uh, little, uh, I, I think your uh, computer was telling you, wait a minute, you got to stop and start over. <laughs> I think so. I think I got a smart computer. <laughs> okay, so my lettering. Now, see, this is what is so, there you go, got your back. This is what's so good about slow stitching right here is you don't, uh, like, now I'm going to have this capital A going on up here. And even if you had stitched, it's really not hard to take it off. Yeah. With what you doing. know, if I'd have gotten both them P's in there, I would have probably put an arrow up here like this <laughs> and put an A right there. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I want to put on my my little apron next. I I think I might do what is it? The blanket stitch. I think I might go all around the outside edges, even the loop around the neck. I think I might do a blanket stitch. Oh, that would be good. Oh, was that in the multicolor? What you posted today is that on your apron? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, you, you didn't read the post, did you? <laughs> I'm having trouble on my, um, and oh. I don't know why. I'm having trouble on, on the Scrap and Lizzie Unicorn site. I uh -huh. cannot comment. I don't know if I did something or whatever. I can click like or whatever. I cannot comment from my computer. I can comment. Wow. From That's my weird. Phone, but not from the computer. And, well, and who are you signed in as when you're on your computer? I'm signed in as me. It says that I'm me. Okay. Hmm. And I so, don't know why. I don't know why either. I So I'm going to play around with it a little bit more. Oh, that's what I should have asked Billy while he was here because he's computer genius. But um, 
We have but, another new person, a looky, looky, Lou. She wanted look, to know how to buy the lace. Oh, now, um, do you have the information on that Facebook page, Lizzie? I have it on the Facebook page, yes. Now, if you will, um, let me see, let me see. I got the, fa I've got the information on the page. What you will do is you will just go to PayPal and you will, um, you can pay the, price there at paypal and just be sure and put your address in in the comment section and put if you want one inch or two inch because you can get what why why one inch or two inch and then that's that's all you need to do if you would rather that i um invoice you i can do that too but um because i'm like cheap i <laughs> i make a little bit extra if i don't do the invoice they charge for the invoice but um i sh i guess i shouldn't sound like that that sounds pretty darn whatever but yes or just go ahead and message me or email me and then we'll take care of it through that way because you can actually even send money right through um, through um, Facebook, right through the message. Yeah, so, yeah I've never done that. Yeah, ouch. Yeah, I have ouch. done that. And it's just very simple. It just goes oh, right God. through my bank or right into well, my bank. Well, does it go from PayPal to how did, where, is they, where do they take the money? Oh, you mean, I, I mean, uh, where, bank? how? Where are they? What source are they using? I mean, you don't put a credit card in, do you? Um, I guess. Well, how have I used it? It. I guess I must just have my bank hooked up with it. it oh. Up. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, I usually always use PayPal though for anything, even if I'm paying through my bank, because PayPal is got that um bit of a protection so uh-huh yeah so i like using paypal right so but yes the information i did put the information about the lease right there in that um and if you have questions just please put the question below that link in that group in that on that facebook page and I will get back to you. Absolutely, positively. Okay, I almost got my A done. Boy, am I glad that you all have an eye on me. Somebody always has <laughs> an eye on me because... See, now I'm getting... And see, by having like a mixture of lowercase and uppercase letters, it makes it even look that much more scrappy. <laughs> and bohemian i love just love the boho look of anything there's going to be beads on here too as well i'm also getting um more of my my other kits together the ones for the the kits for the the journal for the um fabric so stitching journals, I'm getting those kits together. Those I'm listing on Etsy right now. And so we're going to see how that goes. But I'm getting them together. I have many that, because I listed only five before and they melt, they sold out right away. Okay, so there we go with that A. Now I have the S-C-R-A. So now I've got P-P-I-N. L I Z Z I. I hope I got enough space. S C R A P P I N L I Z Z I. Oh, yeah, I'll have plenty of space. It'll take me a while to get that much done. But see, I love this. I think the name is going to be awesome. And then I'm going to go around the name with the, the same echo kind of effect. Oh, okay. And I think that's. I forgot that's what that was called. Echo. That's what I yeah. was doing all day. 
<laughs> and that's what you know we use because that's what the uh what we use in zentangle is it's mm -hmm. an echo mm -hmm. and and that's what i call it in the stitching too so and it's slow stitching so we can call it anything we want to <laughs> right <laughs> what time is it okay um let's see there was something else seems like there was something else I wanted to say, but it's left me now. But um, it's looking real pretty, Lizzie. I'm going to love it. But, you know, even if you have, a fancy apron, if you have just like here, it's just a little piece of what is all this stuff on my screen now? OK, there. this is just a piece of denim, but it's a different color. And so if I were to take this piece, just that piece, and if I were to do maybe some kind of a stitch down the center of it, maybe like a feather stitch, and, um, and then blanket stitch it all the way around, wouldn't that be pretty? Just to add no. that, there, just that would be pretty. Mm -hmm. You know, I love the multicolored thread too. I love, I, yeah, I do too. I am like this here thread that I use. This was the sewing machine, and I've um, got the multicolored thread on my machine that I use this one. Um, Janet, I have okay, Janet, you wanted the cigar box. I have. Okay, I don't have any together right now. I have to get some together um, for the cigar box journal kit, junk journal kits, um, not junk journal kits, slow stitching kits in the cigar box. I'm going to get, the, I'll be getting them together very, very soon. I just got a new bunch of um, cigar boxes. So, so I will... Um, I, I have the cigar boxes now so I can put together some more kits. But now if you all have worked on a slow on a slow stitching um, snippet roll, you can take and then if you're you can take the snippet roll and cut pieces off of it and maybe maybe just add a piece of that snippet roll to whatever. Now, if you're doing something big like this, or if you're doing something in a page, if you're doing a page in your um, in your journal, let me see. I was I get I I lose things. I miss. Well, I don't misplace them. I just am not organized. So, but I was just looking real quick here for my. Oh, it's in it's in the other room. Okay. Let me run and get that real quick. I'll be right back. I'm just going to run and go get that. <laughs> okay, Arlene. <laughs> okay, now see, this is the, the, the um, journal I'm working out of right now. You go right there, Apron. I'm I'm working in this one right now. Um, this is a placemat, but I put fringe around it. That's the same kind of fringe. It's just a different color. I put fringe around the whole thing. Hi, Cheryl. Um, hmm. And Cheryl wants one, too. Okay. This, I'm making kits for these right now. The, these kits consist of, and which, which you may have, a kit will consist of a fabric placemat. And that is what the actual cover of the book is. Then the kit will have five pieces of fabric that will be the size you need for the pages or a little bit bigger, you can cut them. And so, and there'll be five pieces of fabric for the pages. There'll be stuff in there like little pe or pieces of this wide lace 
that you can make a pocket. And, but this is how I'm working my, and whatever else I feel like throwing in there. And so, but it's basically going to be the placemat and the pages. And then I'll also make sure I give you plenty of thread. This one here, I've got stitched. Each one of the pages are stitched in on the spine. But there's so much fun because now if you're making something small, like this, this is a small piece. This, this piece here, we did um, last week or the week before, which is a double-sided piece. And so it just flips. It flips and there's a flower on both sides. And I think that is just mm -hmm. a cat's meow right there. <laughs> and um, I use a lot of safety pins. Okay, and then here, this one is stitched on, but I just um, put, I did some, put some slow stitching on here, and then I, um, and then I stitched it, I put a contrasting piece behind it to kind of like frame it, and then stitched the whole thing on. I can add then something to this side. Here, I did that same way. I fixed this one here, I put the word love, and that whole thing is just couched on. And I love the couching. This here, I put the three the three um, yo-yos on, and then I went real close to the whole outside, and I just did a running stitch around they the couch. Good. But it's pretty. And there I put, there I put the um, lace pocket in there which I can then put in, like here, I did this little girl. She, she could go right there. But see, I can put something. I did have something in there at one time. I, can, I did her the other day, the little puffy thing. And see, and then it's fun because you can put stuff in the pocket. Yeah, yeah. and you can see it. There's another oh, one. There's I, Dora. Dora. Dora's exploring. At least it looks like Dora. It's Dora, and she's exploring yeah. these flowers. And this, I did a piece of felt. I used felt to write the leaf on here. And then I stitched all the way around it with just a running stitch. And then I just went around it with the, uh, what did we call that? Like weaving. And I put a couple buttons on there. But I glued this one on with Fabri Fabrifix glue and just oh. glued that on there. And so that's another way that you can put your images in. This one is just pinned on with safety pins. I think I planned to sew. Did I start sewing that? Oh, I don't know. I did sew. Yeah, I sewed these on. These are sewed. So I'm, I'm going to be sewing on this because it needs more sewing. And But now see, this piece I just put on with safety pins because then I can take because if I want to go and work on this side, I can take this piece off because it's only on oh, that's with a good idea. And then I can work on this one some more and go actually through the page. Mm -hmm. And then safety pin this one back on. And then I noticed you can buy safety, <laughs> safety, colored safety pins. I thought, oh, how, how awesome. <laughs> what does Jennifer say? She says, I'm Fabber, flabbergasted by what my own mother does with a dang set. I wish you all could see her when she's shopping and you can tell she's not going to use them for what it was made for. <laughs> he took me to the thrift shop the other day and I was finding the the placemats were awesome. I was just, I was amazed. The placemats are awesome. I found some linen napkins that are awesome. Oh my gosh, we were having fun. And so let's see. Now this here page is sewn in there. See that I did a tree on, but I want to do more on this tree. After I did my other tree, I decided this one's too bare. So I um. want to stuff on that tree and I do have this here flip flop page sewn in but that's okay I can still do stuff on my tree and this one 
I just love how this one turned out. Now this one um, is, I, I've just got a whole bunch of scraps of, of just uh, a lot of vintage things. And I just made a video on that. Yeah. Right? And yes, I did. And I kind of update only because everybody hasn't watched every video. Right. Well, but, that's why I was reminding too. So in oh, case you didn't see yeah. the video. Yeah. And so then, but then after I put all those little bitty pieces, then I cover the whole thing over with tool. This whole thing is covered with tool. And then I just did that running stitch. I just started around the outside edge and just kept going and going and going till I got to the middle. And then I added this little applique thing. I added, I just love the yo-yos. So what all you could do with the yo-yos. And so that got yo-yos and buttons. This piece here, now this isn't slow. Well, it's slow stitched onto the page, but this here piece, I took a piece of fabric, a 10 by 10, and um, I used all of those, you know, people have been saving their edges, their selvage edges. Yes, selvage edges. That's got all the writing and all the colors and everything on them. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, I don't know why they're saving them, but I'm going to save mine just because everybody else is. So then, but now these, I laid them all on the one piece of fabric, 10 by 10. And I, um, and then, but I, these ones, I used the sewing machine and just went back and forth with a zigzag. But then I folded it in half. So one half is on this side of the page and the other half is on this side of the page. Yeah. I think that looks awesome. It you does. Know? What I what I should have done before I sewed it on there, I should have actually copied it on a um mm -hmm. on a copy machine because it would have made some really pretty paper. Mm -hmm. So, but I've got a lot more of them salvage edges to do something with, and so, and then see, I still have what three more pages here that have nothing on it, but so that's the kits that I'm putting together are these um. There and these are going to be pillows. These are going to be pillows. Uh, I have one of them that is like almost finished, and this one is also. You can see already how it is is shaped like a pillow. So it's going to be tied. I'm going to have ties that go, you know, on each corner, and then in the center, and it's going to tie. And this is going to be a readable couch pillow you know how some people well read don't well there's words in it so you can read it but um but um this is going to be a like a throw pillow that you put on your couch now a lot of people have a coffee table and you got coffee table books well i don't have a coffee table in front of my coffee in front of my couch i got a coffee table but it's somewhere else and um and i don't have coffee table books on it i got Oh, I've got a lot <laughs> of journals on them that other people have made is on it. And it's sort of like a bookshelf. But this way, I'm going to have journals on the couch, on the couch. But they're going, these are pillows. This That's my couch pillows. And so. Um, well, that's different. I don't know anybody else that does that. <laughs> so it just, you know, and I thought of it only after I started. um putting it together and putting all the parts in there and it started getting like thick and rounded. And so like, right. a, and look at that. If I put a piece of my snippet roll in there, that'll be so pretty. I may do that, but I just may, maybe I'll put a snippet roll up the side right here, a little piece. But you just, you just keep going. You just keep going. The more colored, the better. Um, and nothing, like here I got a piece of scrap that got cut off somehow. And it's just a little piece. So I think that should be probably couched right there. And so you don't have to put throw anything away. When you're working on your... um. On your blue jeans, for instance. Now, you don't, 
and and then if you have little pieces like this that you say might be just scraps then you go like this just go like this and start cutting it up like this maybe if it's too small to use for anything which this i could have used but i got plenty and so see and if you've got a nice pair of sharp scissors you can do this and look at what you got there you have stuffing to go for your um to stuff whatever where did i put my bag and i got a little bag too that i just well i don't know where i put that i just moved it so Ari could sit down and then i don't know where i put it but anyway i got i just keep a gallon ziploc bag I did have it all in my little shoebox, but now I just keep a Ziploc bag. And every time I get a little bunch of these, if I get a little tiny piece and I'm not going to use it for nothing, I chop it up like this. And then I just put it in the bag. And that bag, now Jennifer bought me a, a sweatshirt that I could use, make a doggy blanket out of. And doggone that, doggone that shirt fit me perfect. So I said, no, I have to wear this. And so um, it's not going to be my doggy bed. But I'll get one. But this is the kind of stuff. My threads, my everything is what I use for my, um, for my, um, yeah, for my, for my doggy bed stuff. So is it about time, Lizzie? Yes, I was just going to say, why don't let's go ahead and do the door prize drawing. And All right, now wait for me to type, go in the chat. Don't do it yet. And uh, as a reminder, you put in one number only one time. It's between 1 and 120. And the first person that posts the number closest without going over to the number that Lizzie will pull uh, or get, or I will, I don't know who's doing it tonight, uh, will win. So uh, in, a, in a few seconds, I will go ahead and start. And the door price is always pieces of fabric, might be pieces of lace, might right. be pieces of Time whatever. To go. Put in your numbers. Between one and one twenty. This is I'll give you about a minute. For everybody to get it in. So get your numbers in there. That's pretty. Let's put this in here too. That's pretty. See, I just get a little collection up here that'll fit in a in an envelope. And I just can find things. I don't go to any trouble. So this is pretty about hard. 15 more seconds because you got a leg so look at that that's pretty let me see let me see everybody got their numbers in all mm -hmm. right that's it. That's okay it. Okay, Becky Steelman. I don't think I saw your name up there. Before. And Sue Brown, looky, looky, Lou. You guys are awesome. Okay, now I'm going to go here and I'm going to go like this. Hopefully this works for me this time. My phone's not lost this time. Please pick a number between 1 and 120. Oh, wait a minute. She heard me say not lost this time. Oh, so I'm going <laughs> to again. Okay, now I'll do it. Choose a number between 1 and 120. Sixty-three. 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 All right. You'll be looking too, Lizzie. Okay. Although I don't think we've got too many duplicates tonight, but who's closest? Oh boy. I see it. Let's see. I think it might be Terry White with 61. Yep, I see her. That's all I see as far as close. 
Okay, does anybody have any? I don't see any. I think that's okay. it. Okay, so then I need for you. Now, who did we say that was? Terry White. T E R R I White. Okay, Terry White. I got it right yeah, there. that's not a familiar name to me. Hi, Terry. And that's Congra good. Congrats, Terry. Good to see new names. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put that down to here. Terry. Miss Terry White. Now, Terry, be sure and find my... Um, I got to write that down. Okay, be sure to put your address my email is below the video, always below the videos. Put and put your um, email address. No, your mailing address. Oh, good grief. Send me an email with your mailing address. Simple as that. I can't even speak. And, uh, and you will get an envelope with a collection of little, little um, fabrics. I'll probably add some lace in here too. And just some fun things that I'll put together that I can fit in an envelope. And that it will be, gosh, maybe I'll even put a piece of this in there. That would be fun, right? Oh. Because <laughs> uh, I can put that in there. Yeah, I'm not even worried about getting to the end of that. But see, I'll put a piece of that in there too. That'll be fun. Even if I just sandwich that in between the fabrics. And this little piece of fabric is awesome because it's got burrow stitching already on it. Alrighty then. Thank you all for coming. And you guys are more awesome than you could know. I'm going to go be sitting out into my lazy chair and get these old feet up. And I'm going to be stitching. <laughs> yes, I'm. A, we are short when it comes to live streams. We try to keep our live stream to only about an hour to an hour and a half at the very most because i never can sit there that long i'm just neither too much Lizzie, i don't know how you can sit on that bench it I, looks like it's like the hard bench it is a hard bench oh and i, I and couldn't I, sit there i sit right on the very edge of it i just oh my I, but i like to be able to slide back and forth and um to get to my sewing machine and then slide back over here. I watch one lady. Her name is Kate. She um, is over in Norway, is she? I don't know. She's in the UK somewhere. And she's got actually a P, uh, church pew. And huh. she sits on that church pew and she can slide from one end to the other when she's doing her things. The last homely house. That oh, I love that channel. Oh, you don't you can't do that. You, go, you wouldn't be able to carry it home. Okay, I'm going to read. I always read something at the end of my my videos or streams, and and it always comes from. You are stronger than you know. Words of hope and encouragement for someone living with a chronic illness. Today I opened it up to. Life continues around us. Even when our troubles seem to stop time, there is good in life every day. Take a few minutes to distract yourself from your concerns, long enough to draw strength from a tree or find pleasure in a bird's song. Return a smile. Realize that life is a series of levels of cycles of ups and downs, some easy, some not so easy, very challenging. Through it all we learn. We grow strong in faith. We would mature in understanding. The, the difficult times are often the best teachers. And there is good to be found in all situations. Reach for the good. Be strong. And don't ever give up. And that was written by Pamela Owens Renfro. And that is some very, very good words. And so thank you all so much for coming and slow stitching just do it just just get started with it and do some slow stitching it's just it's amazing how wonderful it will make you feel it just it's just awesome oh pat toodle i don't know if i said hello to you and angela rossetti i don't know if i said hello. if i did I, not that's the first i've seen pat 
if I did not say hello to you all, please don't be offended because I'm looking down at what I'm doing and then I look up and then the chat is moving so quickly, you know, that I miss a lot of people. Me too. I <laughs> so much for coming. And I'll be watching for some slow stitching videos throughout the week. But the next live will be again next Monday. Not sure what I'll do then, but I'll do something. And um, I'll be working. I might still be working on my apron. You never know. But then I might just come up with something different. Okay, I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And you keep yourself safe, keep happy. And I will see you on the next video. And thank you so much, Gail. You oh, are you're welcome. Have a good night, Lizzie, dear. Thank you. Good night, and everybody. God bless.